hungry. I cannot wait for this chicken to cook. I don't know why I'm dancing. <laughs> Sarah Squad, welcome back to my channel, Lose Weight Sarah, where I'm on a mission to lose 100 pounds my way. So today I'm coming to you from my kitchen and my plan was to show you how to make a really simple and very calorie friendly chicken breast recipe. Simple, easy, just a few ingredients. The only problem is, I forgot to defrost the chicken to show you how to do this. So I can't quite make a chicken breast recipe with frozen chicken breast, but fortunately I have recently picked up this defrosting tray from Blue Spatula. This should help me defrost the chicken in a lot less time than it would take either putting it in the refrigerator or putting it in a Ziploc bag and then you have to throw out a Ziploc bag. Nobody wants to make extra waste if they don't have to. So we're gonna give this little tray a try and see if it helps and defrosts our chicken just a little bit faster than it would normally take. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out two chicken breasts and we're gonna place them on the tray and this should defrost pretty fast. So let's go ahead and check that out. Oh yeah, these are super, super frozen. So let's see. Yeah, you can see there, ice cold. So I'm just gonna place these on the tray and we'll get one more decent sized one here. There we go. I'm gonna throw one more on here just to be safe. Let's find a smaller size one. Here we go. Okay, that's all there is to it. I've got my frozen chicken breast on the defrosting tray. It is 12.53, so we'll check back in about, let's say 15 to 20 minutes to see where our chicken is at. While we're waiting for our chicken to defrost, let's go ahead and go over the ingredients that we're gonna need to make this very simple and delicious chicken breast. We're gonna need one tablespoon of dark brown cane sugar. We're gonna need one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and then half a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. Last but not least, we'll use about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, once you've got all of your ingredients in a bowl, we just wanna combine those really well. I love this recipe because it's really, really adaptable. Now, there are about a million different versions of this chicken breast recipe online. The one I am following is from a website called cafedelights.com. I will put that link in the description box below. One of the very cool things about this recipe is you can change the spices to be whatever you want. Now, in this version, I'm using just a simple Italian seasoning, but I have also made it before making it a little bit more spicy. So I use cayenne pepper, paprika, chili powder. You can change out the spices, just experiment with it. It's a very basic recipe. The important ingredient here is the brown sugar, and I'll tell you why. The brown sugar is going to create a glaze almost on the top, and it gets nice and kind of crystallized and gives it a little bit of crispiness without adding a bunch of calories or carbs, if you watch your carbs, from breading or other crispy items. Now, it's only been about 10 minutes since I put that that chicken on the blue spatula defrosting tray. So let's go ahead and check it and just kind of see how it's doing so far. Wow, it's only been 10 minutes and you can already see a lot of the frost kind of melting off there. So if I touch the board, which it's a very uh, heavy duty but lightweight material, 
this is ice, ice cold right now. So what's happening is the board, which is room temperature, is absorbing the temperature of the chicken because according to physics, things want to be the same temperature when they're touching. It's the same reason if you put a piece of cold meat on a hot pan, the pan will cool down. So this is kind of the same concept, but this is gonna save us a lot of time defrosting. So let's just go ahead and peek at the bottom here. Wow, you can see there, I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this, of course, but it's already defrosted in spots. Maybe I should go ahead and flip this just to be safe. I don't think, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow, I can't believe how much this is already. This is soft right here. I don't know if you can tell. Let me get real close. You can see that. Bet you didn't think you'd ever see me squishing a piece of raw chicken on my channel, but here we are. Let's check this guy down here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow, this is awesome. So I'm guessing we have about maybe another 10, maybe 15, 20 minutes before this will be uh, defrosted enough where we can actually go ahead and add the spice rub to it and then pop it in the oven. So let's give it a few minutes and we'll check back in. Okay, so it's now been about 35 minutes since I initially put these on the board and you can actually see how much these have defrosted in just a really short amount of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over just to kind of see where the other side is at. So let's, oh, wow. Still pretty frozen but we're getting there a whole lot faster than we would if we didn't have the tray. This one, this one feels almost like it's fully defrosted. So I think we'll check back on this in about another 30 minutes and hopefully it will be good to go. Okay, so we're just coming up on one hour here. It is, it is 1.43, so in about 10 minutes, we're gonna hit the hour, but I just took a peek at this chicken and I feel like this thing is kind of magical. I can't wait to show you guys. Hold on one second. Look at this freaking chicken. I cannot believe it. Now this tray, I don't know if you can tell, you can see it's ice, ice cold. Like it absorbed all of that cold. It's crazy. But these look like, they are pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna just flip this over. A little wet on the underside there. That was one thing I was worried about. I was worried that it was gonna like drip chicken juice all over my counter, but it seems to kind of just sit underneath the chicken breast there. So I could tell they're still a little bit frozen in the middle after one hour on the defrosting board, but that's okay. Frozen in the middle I can deal with um, because we'll just cook our chicken a little bit longer um, since it's cold. But these are mostly, these are mostly defrosted. This is freaking awesome, I can't believe it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my oven preheated and then we're gonna trim some of this that off of the chicken, but then uh, we'll go ahead and make our very simple chicken breast recipe and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so now that my chicken is defrosted enough, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 425. While that's going, we're going to get our chicken breast all ready for the oven and we're gonna get our delicious seasoning on there. First things first though, I am gonna go ahead and trim off some of these fattier pieces. This feels almost defrosted all the way through. I can't even tell you how blown away I am. This is gonna save me a whole lot of trouble, especially on busy weeknights because I am notorious, notorious, for forgetting to take out chicken or meat in general. Now, one thing I will say, I do think this would have worked better if my chicken pieces were flatter. They're kind of, the thickness is varied on all three of them. So like on this piece, which is a little bit thinner, it's a lot more defrosted than this piece, which is a bit thicker. If I had more time to create this video today, I probably could have let this sit another 30 minutes and I think it would have been totally good to go. 
So we're just gonna cook ours a little bit longer. The normal recommended bake time at 425 for a fully defrosted or thawed chicken breast is gonna be about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, but we're gonna let ours go probably a little bit longer since they're still a bit frozen on the inside. And that's okay too, sometimes that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and spray each side of the chicken breast with a, just a little bit of nonstick. I am using a butter flavored one. You can of course use whatever you have. I just touched all that chicken, so I'm gonna wash my hands very quickly. Now what I always recommend that you do is use the ugly side of the chicken first. So whichever piece of the chicken that you want to be face up, you're gonna start on the opposite side of that so that the pretty piece of chicken is up top. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of our um, chicken rub that we created earlier. We're gonna do a very light coating on the underside. Make sure that you have everything handy so that you're not cross-contaminating your whole kitchen with chicken juice, <laughs> salmonella juice. We don't wanna do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just rub this on here. Very, very simple, very easy. There we go. If you get any big lumps of brown sugar, you definitely wanna kinda like mush those out. It's okay if they're there. It's not a big deal. So now let's go ahead and flip our chicken. You can see this side is a bit prettier and this has already been sprayed. And we're gonna put a bit more of the mixture on this side because this is gonna be our top of piece. And don't worry if a little bit falls on the pan, it's not a big deal. Again, we're just gonna rub that in, breaking up any of those clumps of brown sugar as we see them, and just get a nice coating on top. This recipe as is, is actually really friendly to a lot of different diets. Um, if you are low carb, it's actually pretty low carb as it stands, but if you wanted to make it even lower carb, you could use a brown sugar substitute that is a bit more friendly um, if you're on say like a keto diet and not just a regular low carb diet. So this is it. We're just gonna wait for the oven to preheat. Now the best way to check that your chicken is fully cooked is to insert a meat thermometer into the thickest part and make sure that that reads 165 degrees or higher. So that's what I'll be doing, especially since my chicken breasts are still a little bit frozen in the middle. So we're gonna wait for that oven to preheat and then we will get these bad boys in there. Okay, so I've got my chicken going in the oven. I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes, which will make it exactly 2.30 when it's done. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and conduct a little experiment with our blue spatula defrosting tray and see how fast it really does take to melt a piece of ice. All right, so I have washed my blue spatula defrosting tray and I've got just a single ice cube here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the tray and let's just kind of watch as it melts. Now keep in mind, you don't have to heat this thing up or anything, it's just room temperature. I keep mine with my cutting boards, but you can see, look how fast it's melting that ice cube. I feel like this is so cool. It's kind of like a little science experiment that we're doing just for fun. Wow. I mean, that's super fast. You saw I only put it on there a couple seconds ago. It's already mostly melted. This is so fun. No, we don't want you to go that way. Stay over here. You know you're a nerd when you get excited about melting ice, but this is such a cool little gadget. I'm so happy to have this in my kitchen. So there you have it. It completely melted an ice cube in just three minutes. It's, um, I don't think that it's dishwasher friendly. I do believe that it is hand wash only, but it's so small and very lightweight. It's simple enough to do. So you really don't have to worry about that too much. 
So if you guys wanted to get your own blue spatula defrosting tray, you can definitely go to the link in the description box below. Use my code. It is going to get you 20% off and that's even if it's on sale, which right now it is on sale from $59.99 to $29.99. That's 50% off. And then you're going to get another discount on top of that using my code, which is Sarah 20. So be sure to check that out. Definitely a very useful item to have in your kitchen. So hungry, I cannot wait for this chicken to cook. I don't know why I'm dancing. Chicken is out of the oven. We're gonna go ahead and quickly check the temperature. I'm gonna make sure that this regular, just standard meat thermometer that I have goes ahead and reaches 165 degrees. I'm gonna stick it into this thick chicken breast here. Yep, and we're good. Awesome, chicken is cooked. So what I'm going to do now is transfer this onto just a regular plate. And then what we'll do is let it cool for just a few minutes and then we'll be able to cut one open and take a taste. These look so yummy. We've got a nice crispy crust on top from that brown sugar kind of caramelizing. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. All right, so let's let these cool off for just a few minutes. Okay, so our chicken should be cooled off now, so let's go ahead and eat one of these bad boys because I am super, super hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and cut right into the middle there. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. You can see it's nice and juicy on the inside. A little crunchy on the outside. I might have overdone these a little bit, um, and that's because I did cook them a little bit longer since mine were still frozen. So let's go ahead and take a taste. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's got that nice crispy crust from the little bit of brown sugar in there. You've got the seasoning, the Italian. You can definitely taste the garlic in this. I love garlic and typically don't even measure it. I just measure it with my heart. Mmm. It is so, so good. You got a little bit of sweet, a little savory, and of course chicken. Chicken is delicious. No matter when you eat it or how, I find. But great source of protein. Low calorie, you can chop this up, put it in a great salad. And don't forget you can switch up the different kinds of spices that are in there. You can use pretty much anything that you can imagine. I am gonna put a link to that original recipe from Cafe Delights. There are variations of this recipe all over the internet, but you can check that out. And if you need a defrosting tray, because you're like me and you never remember to take meat out to thaw the day before in the refrigerator, like you're supposed to, then check out that link to Blue Spatula. You can get 20% off your order today or any day using my code, which is Sarah20. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, I'll see you real soon. Hmm.